Does anyone actually use Memojis? Either way, my name is Andre Minka. I'm the founder of Trademark Factory. And in this video, I'm going to share my thoughts about yet another trademarking screw up. This time around, it's a trademark dispute between Apple and a tiny little company over the Memoji trademark. No! All right, let me start by reading from the article, but make sure you watch till the end of the video because things are not what they seem. And uh, if you just go through the article, you won't know what actually happened. So let's go and do this. Apple sued over listing Memoji as one of its registered trademarks despite ongoing legal battle. Atlanta-based company Social Technologies LLC today filed a lawsuit against Apple that accuses the iPhone maker falsely indicating that it holds the federal registration for the trademark Memoji in the United States. Apple has included Memoji with an R symbol in its U.S. trademark list on its website since June of 2019, and with the Arna Circle symbol signifying a federally registered trademark with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, despite the federal registration for the trademark belonging to Social Technologies LLC and not Apple. Of note, Apple has successfully registered the Memoji trademark in some countries outside the United States, and several foreign countries also use Arna Circle to indicate that a mark is registered in that country. In fact, the Arna Circle is a universally recognized symbol of a registered trademark. It's just different countries have different regimes and US is very strict around the use of Arna Circle because for example, Canada, the same symbol is used to show that it's a registered trademark, but there are really no rules for what happens if you put an R in a circle next to an unregistered trademark. Uh, it's uh, considered to be not nice, but there are really no statutory provisions that have any negative consequences if you do. And in the US, there are, but let's keep going. Yeah, so, but uh, fine print on Apple's website says that its list is for trademarks and service marks in the United States. So that's important. Memoji is the name of Apple's personalized emoji feature for iPhone and iPad introduced as part of iOS 12 at WWDC 2018. <sighs> Yawn. Apple has applied for two trademarks for the feature with the US Patent and Trademarks Office. Uh, but both are currently suspended due to ongoing litigation with Social Technologies LLC. And we're going to discuss those in just a moment. Social Technologies LLC offers an Android app named Memoji on the Google Play Store, which it describes as the world's best messaging app that will capture the facial expression of the end user with full motion capabilities and transpose the image into a custom personalized emoji of the user's actual face. Okay, Social Technologies LLC already sued Apple for trademark infringement in September of 2018 and alleges that Apple even unsuccessfully tried to purchase the rights to its then intent to use application in April of 2016, yet Apple proceeded to add Memoji with R in a circle to its trademark list in June of 2019. Uh, so there's an excerpt from the complaint. Uh, I'm actually going to show you the complaint itself. So I'm not going to go through that. And uh, yeah, it says what they're seeking. And so here's the update. Uh, update what happened. So Apple has replaced Memoji with an R in a circle uh, with Memoji with a TM symbol, which says it's a trademark that Apple would like to have. They claim it as their unregistered trademark uh, and uh, or at least their unregistered trademark. So TM by itself has no legal meaning in the US and in most countries. And so 
that's what Apple has changed this into. And uh, yeah, so the full complaint, we're gonna go through the full complaint uh, right now. And if you read the complaint and just stop there, you'd think, oh my God, Apple is just absolutely horrible. Are they really? We'll find out in a moment, so let's keep going. So that's the complaint. Uh, that's the complaint from Social Technologies LLC against Apple Inc. So, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, so Apple Inc. and uh, an individual, Thomas LaPerle. All right, so that's the complaint. What they're saying is that Apple's improper and fraudulent use of the registered trademark symbol are in a circle in connection with Memoji, a mark that Apple does not have a registration on in the US. Apple's false marking of Memoji, which is included on the Apple trademark list prominently featured on its website, apple.com, attempts to defraud the general public to social tech's detriment. Okay, so Apple is fully aware that it does not have a federal registration because plaintiff social technologies is federal registered mark and uh, trademark registration, da da da. In fact, Apple is currently defending itself in a separate lawsuit regarding Apple's blatant infringement of plaintiff's registered trademark Memoji in connection with Apple's mobile operating system software feature and Apple Music. Uh, yet, despite Apple's knowledge that plaintiff has federal trademark registration uh, and uh, that US has not, that US PTO has not granted Apple's application to register a trademark in Memoji and that plaintiff is currently pursuing claims of infringement against uh, Apple. Uh, Apple has falsely posted on its website that it owns the federal trademark registration Memoji as reflected by the use of Memoji R in a circle. Specifically, Apple's website includes a registration symbol next to the Memoji trademark on the list of trademarks purportedly owned by Apple. Apple is aware of the differences between the appropriate TMSM and uh, R in a circle symbol as reflected on introductory text of the Apple trademark list on which the false marking of Memoji appears. Okay, so basically they're trying to make a case that Apple, when they put Memoji with an R in a circle, knew exactly what they were doing. They knew that they didn't own the federal registration in the US and yet still proceeded to place that name with an R in a circle after it, okay? And so they have to say the same thing three different ways but it doesn't change the fact that it's the same thing. So Apple's website instructs all developers to use the correct Apple product names with the correct capitalization as shown on the Apple trademark list. Here they're making the case that it's not some obscure page that nobody ever sees. It's that Apple specifically directs a large number of people to use that page to make sure that they're using Apple's trademarks correctly because apparently if they don't, Apple is gonna be upset and they're gonna go after them. And uh, uh, here again, the social technologists are making the case that a lot of people were misled by Apple's false statements, uh, right? Apple's actions are not surprising, they say. Over the years, Apple has become as well known for its blatant theft of intellectual property as its well cost consumer electronics. In 1996, Apple founder Steve Jobs famously said, Picasso had a saying, good artists copy, great artists steal, and we have always been shameless about stealing great ideas. So all of this is just uh, for theatrics, right? And usually when a formal, a formal document, a lawsuit, a, a lawsuit or a you know, a claim is full of theatrics, it means that there's usually something fishy. Uh, it's usually, uh, it means that they're trying to substitute theatrics for the substance. Because if they didn't need the theatrics, well, why use them, right? But let's keep going. So trademark infringement also appears to be Apple's modus operandi. Uh, Apple, has faced lawsuits based on its infringement of many other marks over the years, including iPhone, iBooks, Animoji, and Mimoji, right? And they, 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 they cite uh, 
who was fighting Apple. Apple has also been listed among the biggest trademark buoys by World Trademark Review. So again, they're, they're adding more theatric. They're showing, oh, Apple is horrible company. They steal other people's IP. They don't respect other people's IP. And because they're so big uh, and because they don't respect other people's IP, let's punish them. Uh, so let's keep going. Although the infamous trademark bully has and continues to infringe plaintiff's trademark rights as described above, Apple has now surpassed run-of-the-mill trademark infringement. In violation of state and federal law, Apple is brazenly representing on its website that it has a registered trademark, which it indicates with an R in a circle symbol from Emoji. Now, this just doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's assume that Apple indeed infringed somebody else's somebody else's trademark. If that's true, then infringing someone else's trademark is certainly a more serious crime than uh, placing an R in a circle on a trademark that they don't own, right? So this, this is just advocacy for the sake of advocacy. And I wouldn't say it's very compelling because again, to say, well, yeah, Apple has infringed. They're horrible. They, they steal from everybody. But guess what? They did something much worse. They also put an R in a circle next to a trademark that's not theirs. And really on a scale from 1 to 10, uh, if, let's say, infringing somebody else's trademark, let's say it's a 7, probably placing the R in a circle next to a trademark that's not yours is maybe one <laughs> certainly not an eight nine or ten let's keep going apple's misrepresentation is willful and intended to deceive the public into believing that it holds the federal registration in its mark such action will confuse consumers and diminish the value of social tech's mark even further damaging a promising young company for the benefit of a tech giant and and and, and like i said these theatrics these this uh advocacy for the sake of advocacy, I think it actually detriments their case because as you read it, you're like, oh, come on, really? Did you really have to put that in your official paper? Because uh, it just reads like, it's, 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 it's just reads wrong, right? And as much as I want to feel compassion for social tech, this, this wording doesn't really help them. Let's keep going. Uh, so here are the parties, uh, the social tech, Apple, and this guy, Thomas LaPearl, is the in-house in counsel and senior director of copyright and trademark at Defendant Apple. So what did this guy do wrong? Let's go, let's keep, let's, let's uh, keep reading. So jurisdiction, venue, okay, factual allegations, you say, okay, here's the Apple trademark list, and here are the trademarks, Memoji, okay, messaging feature, blah, blah, blah. So say, the, yeah, R in a circle, uh, all of that we already know. Uh, and then it say, social tech visited Apple's trademark list on June 17, 2019, a day before the deposition of Mr. Thomas LaPearl, right? Apple's senior director of copyright and trademark in connection with plaintiff's trademark infringement action against Apple. So... Social tech is suing Apple for trademark infringement. That's a separate case. And in that case, social tech was uh, doing a deposition of this guy, Thomas LaPearl. Uh, and uh, the day before they were doing the deposition, they say they went to see the, the list of trademarks on Apple's website and Memoji with, a, with an R in a circle wasn't there. So that's what they're trying to say. Uh, however, immediately following LaPearl's deposition, the trademark list was updated to include the falsely designated Memoji R in a circle mark. Okay, so they deposed him. Next day, Apple's list has one extra trademark, Memoji with an R in a circle. Mm -hmm. So on information and belief, and basically what, what that means on information and belief uh, is the legal way of saying uh, as much as we know right pretty much uh so la pearl orchestrated a scheme a scheme he orchestrated a scheme to undermine social tech's registered trademark rights and mislead the public by causing apple 
to add the falsely designated mark to Apple's trademark list. So the way La Pearl orchestrated the scheme was he picked up the phone and said, hey guys, let's add Memoji to our list. Right, or maybe he sent an email or maybe he sent a text message. Maybe he sent a freaking Memoji <laughs> dancing around as some stupid puppet and said, hey guys, let's add Memoji to our list of trademarks. That was orchestrating a scheme. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> the federal circuit has held the improper use of the registration notice in connection with an unregistered mark if done with intent to deceive the purchasing public or others in the trade into believing that the mark is registered is a ground for denying the registration of an otherwise registrable mark. And that's very true and that's very important, right? And if it wasn't for all this, you know, hypey, theatrical bullcrap, that was probably their biggest argument. So let me let me explain again. So if you don't own the trademark in the US, if you don't own a registered trademark and you say that you do and you place an R in a circle next to it, uh, then that action by itself could be used against you if you ever get to registering that trademark for real. So never, 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 never do that. So Apple's website, which hosts Apple's trademark list, has far reach. According to similar web, Apple.com is the 68th most visited website in the US and number two website in computer electronics and technology. Good for them. The website sees almost half a billion visits per month. That's a lot of visits. And Apple's trademark list is linked within the legal portion of its website, which on information and belief is linked on every single page of the website. So what they're saying is that uh, anyone any one of those half a billion people who visit the website every month has is one click away from seeing the list where Apple now says Memoji is Apple's registered trademark. Okay, uh, Apple's website also instructs developers to always use the correct Apple product names with the correct capitalization as shown on the Apple trademark list. So what they're saying is every developer that does something for iOS or uh, Mac OS uh, will be uh, guided by that list. And if they do anything remotely similar to Memojis, they would have to assume that Memojis is Apple's trademark. Okay, uh, Apple's misuse of the registered trademark symbol, uh, you know, is willful. They've been aware, they did it anyway. They're bad boys. Okay, we got it. Uh, significance of the Memoji mark. They say that it wasn't a mistake or ignorance. They've acted in bad faith. Uh, on June 4th, 2018, Apple announced iOS 12 at its Worldwide Developers Conference. And among the new features, they, they basically offered the Memoji. And Apple has engaged in extensive advertising since the release. And Apple did not just advertise Memoji to promote iPhones or iPads. On information, I believe also uses Memoji as a mascot for its entire brand, as well as to promote Apple Music. So they keep showing some advertising, uh, and they say Apple is horrible. They they're 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 so bad. They're they're absolutely terrible because they use Memojis, uh, and uh, they shouldn't because we own them. That's the whole idea. So there are a few causes of action. The first one is false designation. Basically, you shouldn't use an R in a circle next to a trademark that ain't yours. The, the other one is dilution. That basically says that uh, uh, what Apple is doing is killing the value of social tech's uh, trademark. Then they say it's unfair competition. So they, they shouldn't be doing that because they're getting an advantage, uh, which they shouldn't, and violation of New York general business law. So uh, basically it says, uh, what, what is a deceiving consumers and uh, causing harm to the consuming public and to a plaintiff in violation of New York general business law. Okay, uh, and what they're asking for is 
they want the injunction basically to get Apple uh, to uh, uh, to remove the registration in connection with the Mark Mimoji. Uh, they're also asking for an injunction that would prohibit Apple uh, from using Mimoji Mark at all. Right? So it's not just about getting rid of the Arn historical. They also say and stop using our mark. It's our mark. Uh, they want some money, uh, including exemplary and punitive damages. Uh, they want uh, the court interest. They want all costs for attorney fees. They want a declaration that Social Tech owns the only federally registered Memoji trademark, which is kind of obvious, as you'll see in a moment. Uh, and uh, they want a declaration that Social Tech owns and has the right to use Memoji. Uh, and uh, that's what their uh their claim is so looks like apple is blatantly infringing they're doing something bad they're trying to ruin a small company that came up with the name first right right wrong uh because here's what's happened if you search for memoji you get not one not two not three you get four trademarks for memoji and uh, this one, which is registered, is a trademark of social tech. That's the one they own. Uh, and, uh, but let's look at all of them. Now, here's the first one. Mimoji, filed October 29th in 2014. And who was it filed by? Because that's important. It was not filed by Apple. It was not filed by a social tech. It was filed by two companies, Big 3 and Enterprises, I guess, LLC, and Luck Bunny, LLC. Okay, so these two filed this trademark in 2014, and they filed a specimen, they, the mark went through, it was allowed in May of 2015, and Luck Bunny didn't bother to file a specimen of use for all those um, goods and services that were filed based on intent to use. And so because of that, because they didn't follow up with the trademarks office, the, their trademark application was canceled. It died. It's now shown as a dead trademark. Okay? So that's the first one. Remember this. 2014. Oh, and that's important. Uh, because if you look at goods and services, uh, there's, there's two. There's intent to use for baseball caps and hats, shirts and t-shirts. So the only reason their trademark wasn't registered after it was allowed is that uh, Luck Bunny didn't show the specimen of using Memoji on baseball caps. Because if they had only those trademarks that are uh, based on actual use, 1A, then there would not have been a need to post the specimen of use. And so the trademark would go straight to registration after allowance. And they also claimed use for computer application software for mobile phones and other computing devices, namely software for creating and sending uh, emoticons, uh, downloadable computer software for creating and sending emoticons. Uh, so, and, and, and they claim that this mark was used for the software from October 1st of 2014. Now this date, make sure you remember it because as you'll find out, this date is crucial. All right, so October 1st, 2014. And then here's the trademark from Social Tech, right? This is Social, this is Social Tech. Here's their trademark, Memoji with some, some weird face in the middle. Uh, and uh, they've got uh, Class 9. They're claiming first use in uh, June 28th of 2018. Right, they, they, they filed their trademark in April of 2016 and their mark got registered uh, in September of 2018. And uh, the, the interesting thing about that one is that Apple is now trying to cancel it. Uh, and uh, so here's Apple's petition for cancellation. Actually, before we go there, before we go there, I got to show you something else. So the third trademark on the list is 
Apple's trademark. So Apple filed a trademark for Memoji and uh, uh, they claim computer application software for mobile phones and other computing devices, namely software for creating and sending emoticons, downloadable software in the nature of a mobile application for creating and sending emoticons. And first use claimed as October 1st, 2014. Huh, where have I seen the same goods and services and the same first use date? Let me think about it for a moment. Oh, it's the Luck Bunnies trademark, exactly the same wording, exactly the same date. So that trademark that was dead, Apple, in 2017, in April of 2017, filed exactly the same trademark for exactly the same goods for exactly the same first use date. How is that possible? How is that possible? Especially since Apple hadn't launched uh, their, their Memoji uh, in 2014. So how did that happen? Well, Apple apparently bought the right to the trademark from the owners of now canceled trademarks. So what's the benefit of that? Well, the benefit is very, is very simple. Just because you chose not to finalize your trademark registration does not mean you didn't have any use of the mark. And so what Apple says is, well, these guys, Lucky Bunny, when they file their trademark, they also filed what's called a specimen of use. Uh, so let's see if it opens. Okay, let's open it here. So that's their, um, that is their specimen of use for Luck Bunny. So they're showing how Memoji work. And uh, this is dated 2014. And so uh, what they're saying is we have a dead trademark with a specimen that showed use as of uh, as of that date. What was the date? What was the date again? Let's see. Um, okay, October 1st, 2014. So they say, we've got proof of that. And so they're thinking, if we buy that trademark, if we buy rights to that brand, even though it's no longer registered, we can claim back uh, the use all the way to October of 2014 because they used it and now we're successor in title. So that's what Apple did when they filed their trademark, this one, all right? Uh, and on top of that, uh, in October of 2018, Apple filed another trademark. So that's Apple and they filed another trademark for computer software for creating, recording, viewing, sharing, sending, emoticons and electronic messages, computer software for use in capturing and enhancing images and video computer software for use in facial recognition mapping on smartphones and tablet computers. And uh, uh, they say, well, it's still um, uh, intent to use. And uh, here the wording is different because they didn't have to rely on that um, other trademark from Luck Bunny, right? So here is the cancellation petition that Apple launched against uh, social tech. And they say this, uh, so the Apple is the owner of the application to register Memoji, computer application, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Memoji mark first used in connection with the software identified in Apple's application as early as October 1st, 2014, has been used since than by Apple or its predecessors in interest. Now that's important. Why they say, we used it, and if we didn't, then somebody else did, and we're their successors and their pre 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 predecessors in title. So, interesting. So Apple's Memoji software uses video, blah, blah, blah. Uh, extensive uh, press coverage. Everybody loves Memojis, apparently. Uh, why would people love emojis beyond me? By the way, if you use emojis, if you use memojis or any emojis, uh, comment below. Let me know how you really use them because I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. Right, so upon information and belief, registrant social technologies, uh, Georgia blah, 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 company, according to online records, they've got this trademark uh, for all of this. 
and here's their trademark and they say according to USPTO uh, register and file a statement of use with respect to registrants application claiming to have first used the register mark on June 28, 2018. Uh, specimen of use submitted with registrants statement of use described this Memoji software as a messaging app that will capture the facial impression of the end user with full motion capabilities and transpose the image into a custom personalized emoji of the user's actual face, All right? And so according to USPTO, uh, the trademark uh, was registered. And uh, uh, because of that, Apple got the suspension notice for their application saying, well, pending your resolution with those guys, we can't register your trademark Apple because social tech was there before you are. And, um, uh, and, and the, the only reason they're bringing this up is to show that they have a, a legitimate interest to cancel uh, social tech's trademarks. So in the US, when you initiate cancellation proceedings, you have to show that you have a legitimate interest. You have a uh, proper interest in canceling that trademark, that you're not just doing it well, you didn't like the trademark, is that your rights are suffering, you're sustaining damage uh, because of that other trademark continuing to be registered. So, and here they say, well, priority likelihood of confusion. And they say filing date, blah, blah, blah. So they say uh, longer than the date of first use. So what they're saying is uh, social text filing date was after the first use date of the trademark that Apple bought from Luck Bunny, right? And then they say the goods, uh, the good, the goods are similar, and that uh, app uh, in, for which registrant uses the register mark has the same fundamental functionality as the app in connection with which Apple uses Memoji mark. So say goods are very similar. Uh, and given the similarity of the parties, goods and services and marks, uh, their use in connection with registrants goods is likely to cause confusion as to the source. And they're saying examining attorney has indicated registration will be a basis for refusing Apple's application, despite the fact that Apple's rights and the emoji mark are prior and superior to any rights that registrant may claim to the register mark. So they're saying, well, we said we started using this trademark in 2014 uh, and instead of killing that other trademark, uh, USPTO is not letting ours through. And that's really what USPTO always does because there's this thing called uh, presumption of validity and ownership. So until Apple successfully cancels social, um, uh, what was their name? Social text trademark for Memoji, uh, Apple can't overcome that objection. So let's keep going. Continuous presence of the registration uh, is inconsistent with Apple's prior rights. And uh, by reason of foregoing, Apple is likely to be harmed by continued registration of the register mark. So Apple is saying, hey, hello, just a second. We were there first. Well, not we, our predecessor in title. They were there first, right? They were there since 2014 and now we are successor entitled, so we're entitled to the same rights that they would have been. Uh, and because of that, uh, social text trademark that they filed in 2016 is so much further down the road from 2014. Oh my God, how did they not know? Yeah, so this is the perfect illustration of using a dead trademark that only remained uh, insofar as common law right as uh, an unregistered trademark, using that dead trademark to go after a sub subsequently registered uh, trademark for the same thing and saying, hey, we may not own a live trademark back then, but we own the common law rights that are still there even if uh, the registration wasn't pursued that was used in 2014, there's specimen of use, that's our evidence, and we now own it. So we weren't gonna use our property to challenge the subsequently registered trademark. So that's what Apple is doing. And they say, well, if you don't defend our trademark, then we're gonna be harmed. 
So that's we got in a nutshell. So the real question here is this. If Apple are the good guys, if they came up with a name uh, and, uh, well, they didn't come up with a name, like, like Bunny came up with a name, uh, but uh, if they decided to uh, first introduce that to the masses and uh, they did everything right, uh, as, as the uh, social text claim says, Apple actually approached them hoping to buy their rights and they said no. Uh, so really the question here is this, why hadn't Apple bothered with this before? But a lot more importantly is this, why on earth would they give such great ammunition to social tech uh, by placing that Memoji with an R in a circle on their list? Uh, and uh, the timeline is actually not in Apple's favor. I mean, they could say that somebody messed up and just uh, placed it there. They thought it was theirs, but it's really not. But the fact that it was done the next day after the deposition, that doesn't look good at all. Uh, and uh, that by itself could be sufficient to kill Apple's chances of getting their new trademarks registered because this could be used against them. Uh, the fact that they've already said that they uh, own this trademark on the website. So that stuff doesn't really compute. Uh, and um, what it could be, what it could be is that Apple uh, just, you know, uh, decided to use the opportunity, find this luck bunny and give them some money, buy their asset only to uh, use it against social tech, which they wouldn't necessarily have to do had social tech uh, decided to not go after Apple. Uh, but, you know, it all happened. Uh, that's the fact. And uh, now both parties need to deal with it, need to deal with it. And um, it would be interesting to see. It would be interesting to see how this goes because Apple already offered them some money. They said no. Uh, and uh, what are they going to do? Offer more money and see and see if social tech blinks and agrees? Or is this really going to become a full-blown trial with full-blown litigation, with full-blown uh, fight? Because Apple can certainly afford that. Uh, I'm not so sure about social tech. Uh, and I want to say afford, I don't just mean money. It's also time and energy. Uh, so this is the story in a nutshell, right? They're trying to figure out if Apple can use that older trademark from 2014 to kick uh, uh, the, the application, the registration from Emoji from social tech off the register. And if Apple is successful there, then Apple's other trademark registrations will go through and social tech will have no case against Apple. On the other hand, if Apple cannot prove uh, that uh, they've, they've got this uh, mark first, if they cannot prove that uh, their older mark or the, the Luck Bunny's trademark should uh, trump the uh, social uh, tech's trademark, then all of our Apple's arguments are going to be ignored because if social tech owns the trademark and Apple doesn't, then Apple can't do anything without it. And Memoji uh, mark would actually be the property of social tech and social tech will be able to stop Apple from ever using Memoji again. So we'll see what's going to happen. It's going to be pretty interesting. I hope you'll learn something useful in this video. I uh, hope it was helpful to you in one way or another. And if it did, like this video and uh, subscribe to get notified whenever the next one goes live. And if you've got a brand that you want to protect, uh, whether you're a big company or a small company, but you see the value of your brand, your company name, your personal name, names of your products, name of your services, your logo, your tagline, if any of that has any value for you, book a call with one of our strategy advisors. The call is free. The advice is prices. Just go to trademarkfactory.com and book your call right now. Until then, I will see you in the next video.